Ever wonder what makes up our lakes? Sure, there's water, either a little or a lot. But what does it all mean? Well, first you have to understand that each lake the Corps manages, and some we don't, are part of a flood risk management system. They are basically designed to reduce the risk of flooding by holding high water back to keep downstream areas below flood stage. Each lake designed for flood risk management is made up of three pools. The inactive pool is the lowest area in the lake, designed to trap sediment brought in by rain. Water in this pool can only be used during extreme droughts or emergencies. The conservation pool contains all the water stored for project purposes. Releases are made from this pool for hydropower, water supply, water quality, and minimum flow requirements. The conservation pool fluctuates as water is used or evaporates, then is replaced by inflows. It's also the pool you most commonly use for recreation. Last, but certainly not least, is the flood control pool. This area is normally kept empty and is the space that catches inflows above the conservation pool, which may cause flooding downstream if released. So there you have it. That's how the lakes work. You can check how high or low the water is by simply going to www.swt .usace.army.mil and clicking on the blue box marked Water Control Data System. There you'll find the daily report of reservoir conditions which will show you how high or low is the water in the lake near you.